Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. How are we all doing? Welcome, welcome, one and all, to ABX TV. It is me. It is Spoonie. It's Friday. You know what that means. Crack out the popcorn. Crack up, crack open your bevies. It's Gatwick Day. You know what that means. Right. How are we all doing? Adam, good morning, mate. Derpy, hello. Luna, good morning. How are we all doing? Hope you are doing well. Yeah, it's gay. It's gay. We're doing some Gatwick. You know what that means. It's going to go mental. Uh, one thing I've just realised I ain't done. I'm going to quickly do that. Uh, let me just get all set up and ready to rock and roll. I've just got to, I haven't connected to the network yet because I just wanted to make sure I say hello without being, you know, interfered with first. I'm good, Adam. How are you, mate? Are you flying anywhere today? Right, you then. How are we five or six days on the trot of content? But of course, it's all just stream vods and been enjoying it nonetheless i'm saying this to the youtubers that have been watching thank you so much. and my stream has stopped for some reason why is my stream oh, okay now it's back hello am i back well that's a good sign for today am i back i'm assuming i am yep we're back Morning, morning flights tomorrow, though. Sam, okay, okay, yeah. Network just dropped for some reason. This is going to be a good start already, right? Are we ready? Are we ready? Let's rock and roll. So, let me just get on the network. I'll be back in two seconds. Oh, uh, reconnect as Gatwick Ground. Oh, uh, god, these have all changed. Charts at chartbox.org. Submit feedback and we are live at www.twitch.tv forward slash aviators underscore TV. Say that. Yep. Connect. Yes. Coming online, coming online, coming, 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 coming online. That sounds dirty when I say it like that. Uh, a little bit of that. I'm assuming it's two six left. Eight is already up online, so we will just double check it now. Let's just switch you over so you guys can see what I'm doing. Uh, now I'm logged on. Where are you? Uh, come on, that one. There we go. Right then. Uh, we're not one two one seven three zero anymore either. We are. 8.05. All right. Let me just get connected and everything. Bear with me, guys. And I am live on the network. So, yeah, Gatwick's now been part of the... Um, the new frequency change, so that's now a thing. I need to ping who's on and covering itself. Morning. Uh, Essex is on. Who's on Essex, Oliver? Okay. Birmingham approach is on. That's interesting. Okay. So, yeah, it's just South Central. We'll take it. Ready for all the flights at Eham? Yeah. Naf lad, hello, mate. Good morning. Morning, I've just bought a new PC. Ready to start playing flights in. Cool. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You picked the best place to come. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Obviously, I can't really help in the flying department today, but, you know. Uh, let's get B strips up and running. Please. Right, so I should be able to switch to this so that guys you can still see me. Whoop. 
flip. Uh, that comes over here. And he is, I'm assuming, he's cleared and he's taxiing. Done. Q&H 1001. The weather's not great. I'm not going to lie. Uh, just bear with me, guys, while I'm just getting everything stirred up. Have you done? Let's have you. Uh... There it is. Go, got to have you. Right, let's get some music in. Cool, London's happy. Okay, two six left. He's dropping the eights to me. Which makes sense because I'm on the actual ground where he's not. He said Delta's current, so we'll load that in. That's current eight is Delta and connect. Give it a second. Stay with you. These trips is online. Cool. We are rocking and rolling, guys. All right, Nathan, let not for mate. Well, I'll do my best to answer when I'm obviously on stream, but obviously, you know. But that's absolutely fine, mate. TKL, hello. Ready for the flight to Ham? Absolutely. Uh, my phone's going mental for some reason. Like, let's get a little bit of music tunes back on, shall we? So, are you are you losing it, Derby? Are you tired? Have you been pulling a late one, have you? Oh yeah, the labels in on. Hang on. Uh, it's because I did flying. There we go. Now you can see the aircraft labels. Ah, oh, that's cool. Well, thank you, Nate Blood, for the uh, YouTube views. It's much appreciated. We are trying to hit the big 500 on YouTube because a lot of stuff unlocks for us when we do. And we're, we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, we got our stats in the Discord. Uh, we're at 300-something YouTube subscribers, 320. Oh. Information echo now current. Cool. So I can show you guys the current weather at Gatwick. It's not looking great. I'm not going to lie. Uh, let me just load it up on my tablet so I can see as well. Come on. Let me push the button. Thank you. It's still saying it's VFR conditions, although apparently uh, Gatwick's currently got a weather warning. Woo. Yeah. So, when it, currently at Gatwick, it is 220 at 12 knots, gusting 22. Ah! Visibility 9,000 metres, uh, light showers and rain, scattered clouds at 900 feet, broken clouds at 1,600 feet, temperature plus 18, Q&H is 1001. The pressure's dropped very quickly in a short amount of time. So, yeah, it's, it's not great. So this is, you know, it's definitely challenging conditions at the moment. Uh, I need to... There's actually no one on the ground at the minute. So, yeah, this is what Gatwick looks like at the moment. Obviously, you know, it's not Musfa's weather, but you get the idea. Oh, you've just been doing lots of work, have you, Derby? I'm sorry to hear that. 
Not having wild scandalous liaisons then. <laughs> What's the forecast? Uh, let me have a look. Let me let me switch to EFB and you can have a look. Say hello to yourselves. Uh, go back to Meta. Right. Taff. There's the forecast. It's apparently supposed to get better. But, yeah, this morning, the weather is looking oof. Yeah, it's it's been raining here. It's very dark. If any of you are watching on my camera, you can probably see what I mean. It's like, if I show you that. It's not looking too bad on the camera, actually, but it is very dark in my room at the minute. But, yeah, that's the current TAF at the minute. It's it's not great. Uh, I'm presuming that's 40% chance of heavy rain. And the wind is going, could potentially go up to gusting 30, so it's very, very windy. The weird thing is the temperature. The temperature is staying very warm, considering it's a little nuts. Because it's like I've, I've been out in the last little while and I had a look and yeah, it's it's still very warm outside considering how poor the weather is. We do have an inbound. He we've got top Swiss. He's coming in from Geneva. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, between 5 o'clock and 8 o'clock this evening. Again, heavy rain. But it's only 30% chance. It's it's not. It's not. So it's less likely. Way First follow of the morning. Kallax. Thank you very much for the follow. Welcome aboard to Radio TV, mate. I hope you're doing well. Thank you. Much appreciated. Yeah, I, I I still need to do a lot of it. Oh, I'm, I'm going to thank you, Calix. Literally just got started. Oh, actually, I just realised my B-strips is wrong because he needs to go. There we go. Because I never actually handled him. Ladies and gentlemen, whoa, this is your captain whoa, whoa, speaking. Whoa, 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 whoa. First... Sub of the day. Nate Lads, thank you so much for the subscription. Much appreciated, mate. Welcome to the Call Sign Club. Please keep your membership on you at all times throughout the airport, and all other facilities will be made available to you. <laughs> Look at me with the airport puns. How are you doing? Thank you very much for the support. Much appreciated, mate. Oh. Like I say, I'll, I'll pre-note you all guys now. If it gets very busy, you know what it's Gatwick's like, then obviously I will obviously put up my little busy icon, like so. And then uh, my chat's going to go a bit quiet. So just so you guys know. Ah, well, let me mute it. There we go. Yes, I do love a good mango logo. That didn't use to actually... Mango actually used to be my second favourite. My favourite was when they did um, the Doctor one. Um, what was his name? The Valentino Rossi, the Doctor one. That was mwah, that was my absolute favourite. But they stopped doing it, which made me sad. But yeah, I, used to, I loved the Valentino Rossi one. It was so nice. So here comes the top Swiss. It's just coming through the cloud layer now. Because you all don't want to see my faces. Uh, yeah, there's not that much going on at the moment. As you can see, here is the airport. And yeah, there's not actually that much going on at the moment. I think I can hide the departure coordination requests because I don't think I need a lot of coordinating. Look, there's no one on the ground. What a rarity in of itself. You very rarely see Gatwick this quiet. Let's 
So, yeah. But yeah, I need to do some more flying in the near future. It's just, I'm so busy. That's why I like doing, I've, I've got to admit, I do like doing my controlling streams a little more because it's a less work, less hassle, and I can just jump on and like do it. Stanny levels. Hey, what? Does it mean it was this top where it looks like it's going really slow? It also looks a bit high. Mm, he's all right. He's making it. Yeah. Which, as let's be honest, for Gatwick is very, is very unusual. Nice. Very nicely done. What's he flying? A320. Nice. Nice, nice landing. No muss, no fuss. Uh, if he can vacate a foxtrot, that would be amazing, which I think he's going to. Yep, lovely. Second right, Juliet, and then we can get him on stand. For those of you who don't know, if you fly into Gatwick, uh, preferably, if you can come in on fo vacate a foxtrot Romeo, that just makes ground very happy. And we know, all know you like to make me happy. Yeah, Foxtrot Romeo is the preferred because then I can just second right you onto Juliet and then you can come up here. And then I can get you to stand because then I'll usually tell you to hold short Romeo, which is here. So I want you to stop about here and then I can get you onto whatever stand I like. So he should be calling me in a uno memento. So I'll grab his strip like that. Which you can't see. There you go. But yeah, grab his strip. It's logged his time that he landed, which was 9.49. And he's coming from Geneva. It's allocated him stand 113, which is certainly doable. Whee, we got an aircraft on stand. Hmm. Oh, London's gone off as well. Joy. I might need to ping him then. I don't know if he got handed over, so we'll ping him. He's done the right thing, though. He's taken the second right on Juliet of his own accord. Much appreciated. Gatwick Ground, good morning. Top Swiss 4 2 Echo off on taxiing on Juliet. Top Swiss 4 2 Echo Alpha, Gatwick Ground, good morning. Uh, taxi to stand 113 via Juliet, Romeo, and Lima. Taxi Juliet, Romeo, and Lima to stand 113, Top Swiss 4 2 Echo Alpha. There you go, hold on. Uh, I'm just going to turn that off. I'm not going to send him up to 571. Uh, well, yeah, Delta 1. If we were coming on 08, yeah, absolute Delta 1 is a good one. Of AK Echo 1. You could, I mean, Echo One. I mean, it's just a bit of a ball ache. Echo One, just because of its location, because you got to make them taxi up eight, eight left, and they never know how to do it. I've seen a lot of real world track. It's a bit confusing actually, because sometimes in real world they force them to come up Tango, then Juliet anyway, or they bring them straight down. It depends, 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 depends. But yeah, Fox Shot Romeo just makes things nice and simple. Or if you want to do Golf Romeo, you can do Golf Romeo as well. That's absolutely fine. Just Echo seems a bit weird. Because you'd think they'd just... I don't know. But yeah, Gatwick will be changing a lot over the next few years with all its... Uh, they're renovating it and re-bringing the Northern Runway back up online. Yeah, I'm going to send them 574. That's really harsh all the way up here. That's where I put naughty children. That's where I put naughty pilots. I don't know what they're doing. I stick them in the naughty corner. Not dirty. Oh, I've just hit the button. What the button have I just hit? Oops, my bad. There we go. So, 
We do actually have another inbound. Uh, we've got Speedbird coming in from, funnily enough, Amsterdam. Woo! There goes my phone. <laughs> Sorry, Dabby, I shouldn't really be picking on you while you're so tired. I know better than to pick on a tired woman. Right there. There he goes, under my tower. Uh, we have got one strip, finally. So yeah, I, I did, um, I have made some tweaks to my, if I go into this view. Hang on. Uh, I made some tweaks to my departure board, so you guys can kind of understand the information a bit more. I've, I've, I've made it pretty colours. So, yeah. See a call sign. Uh, the, well, I don't know why departure is a thing. I should really just hide that. Yeah, get rid of departure. Because I don't need to know where they're departing from. I know where they're departing from. is Gatwick. Aircraft type, uh, whether they're flying IFR or VFR. Destination. Then you've got the SID. Runway. Altitude. Final flight level. Then their exit point, if they're leaving UK, what it tells me what their exit point is. Uh, flight plan checker tells me if it's okay or not. Squat codes, and then their clear, clear tag. And then you've got data link, and then coordination, so like release and pre-noting. So it'll tell me if I need to pre-note them. That's about it, really. But yeah, I'm, I, I sorted it all out the other day, made it all pretty colours. Because I had to reinstall the controller pack again. Yay! Because uh, Gatwick has now been updated with phase two. So the frequency for Gatwick's change is now 121.805. Uh, let's watch the speedbird inbound. Switch. Yeah, I made it pretty colours. So, uh, Top Swiss has just pulled in on stand, so we can get rid of his strip, so his strip can go bye-bye. I've -bye. Uh, got the Speedbird just about to land. About 60 seconds from touchdown, and we've got another one coming in on final as well, which is nice. Unfortunately, there's been no progress on me uh, on, the, on the waiting list. I've gone down all of one space this week, and that's about it. Which I'm presuming was because someone dropped off the waiting list, because I know... Oh, I say that. I've just looked myself up. I've gone down another two. I'm now down to 19. Ooh, we're sub-20! Oh... Yeah, I'm now sub-20. I'm back number 19 on the waiting list for S2. Yep. In comes... Ooh, Speedbird's a little wonky. 
I have to make some last minute adjustments. Oh, come on. Knee down. Yes. Nicely done. Oh, he's got a bit squirrely. Oh, on the D-cell. Oh, nearly, nearly. Well, it's just rain, started raining outside my house. And he's vacated Echo. Yay! Right, I've got to ping him. That's cool, Calyx. Ground hello, uh, Speedbird 2827, just coming off 26 uh, left. Speedbird 2827, Gatwick Ground. Good morning, welcome to Gatwick. Taxi right onto runway 08 left, and then left tango right on Juliet, hold short Romeo, expect stand 1 2. Okay, we're uh, turning right onto 08 left, left onto tango, right onto Juliet, and holding short of Romeo, Shamrock, Speedbird 2827. Good morning. Wow, 13 of you. Good morning. It's nice to see my regular bunch. I, I'm assuming most of you are lurkers, but your support and watching is always greatly appreciated. I know you can't all chat or, you know, or you're all busy doing something else. They are so very long. I mean, just for S2 at the minute, I'm nearly, I'm going to be hitting the two year mark for waiting. Gary Towers online. Woo! Morning. Hey, firm. Gary Towers on. Who's come on? Oh, it's Andrew. Andrew's come on. He's got these strips. Beautiful. So he can see what's going on. Just got him off on Tango, just to sort of keep him out of the way, because we do have another arrival inbound. Right, we can just take him all the way in. Speedbird 2827, continue taxi, Juliet, stand 1-2. Juliet, stand 1-2, Speedbird 2827, thanks. Cool. Done. So yeah, Mr. Granston is on Linus Tower. Yeah, exactly. You know, hold the popcorn for now, but, it, it, you know, you know what it's like. It's going to kick off sooner or later. You, we know we're going to get one. Right. 3-4 Juliet Papa is inbound. Oh, I've just realised. Why have I got no strips? And then I've just realised Tower came online. Because it kicks, it kicks the strips off, which is very annoying. There we go. Rain and drizzle. Oh, wind's picking up as well. Gusting 24 knots now. Oh, yeah, that was something I wanted to ask a lot of my regulars because I was just curious because I, sh I, I kind of, like, struggle with what I'm going to do during the week for controlling, and I've, I've got some more availability coming up to stream in the near future. Would you guys continue to watch if I did, say, like, Stansted or Gatwick two, like, multiple days in a row, like... What what would you think? So if, say like I did, I don't know, Stansted on the Monday and the Tuesday. Would you guys still watch? Would you still find that entertaining? Would you get bored? Just out of curiosity, I'm just genuinely asking because I might have some more availability coming up to do some more streams, but do you know what I mean? I, 
there's only so much controlling I can do at the moment because obviously all like you know my area of like expertise and whatnot is all London, but I can't do heat throw yet because I ain't got an S2 and I can't do anything more than grounds because I am not an S2. So I was just out of curiosity, would you guys continue to watch if I sort of did Stansted multiple days in a week? Is that you know, would you mind? Or you're like, oh no, you like the variety throughout the week. So there you go, there's my question for you for the day. Right, I'll take him. Oh, I've got to wait for Tower to give me now. Uh, da, 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 da. Cool, Luna, thank you. Who's that? Crimson, hello, Learn EDI. Yeah, I, I, I'm just, I'm not a, I'm not a fan of, I just, I like doing London airports. I've got no interest. I like Edinburgh. Don't get me wrong. Edinburgh is a nice airport. Captain I'm not Brown, very it. good morning to you. Is the 34 Julie Papa taxi via 08 left or short of Romeo with pressing taxi to the gate? Easy, 3-4 Juliet Papa, Gatwick Grounds. Good morning. Welcome to Gatwick. Continue taxiing on 08 left, then Romeo Lima, stand 553. Continue taxiing 08 left, then Romeo Lima, stand 553. Easy, 3-4 Juliet Papa. Nice. Well, Adam, you are a dirty little lurker, so you would. Okay. No, I was just kind of curious because I, you know, I don't, I don't want you guys to be bored. Do you know what I mean? I like, like, I like the current setup I've been doing because obviously I do Stansted one day, flying one day, Gatwick the other day. Because at the minute that's pretty much, I mean, I could do Luton, but no one's going to fly. Well, people would fly out of Luton, but there'd be like one aircraft every like half an hour, so it wouldn't exactly be thrilling content. And eventually, I'd run out of things to waffle about. So I was just out of curiosity if I did do He should be taking a left, and he is beautiful. No, no, I do. I've got to admit, Adam and Luna and Derpy, I do appreciate your support. You know, you've been long time, both subs now and just general viewers. It is much appreciated. I hope you've all been enjoying it so far. Like I said, I think I've said this a few times now, like, just bear with me, because like I said, once I get my S2, my options opened up considerably, because as soon as I get my S2, I'm going straight for Heathrow, because then I can do Stansted, Gatwick, and Heathrow, and Luton, and London City, and I can do Tower Posting, and do you know what I mean? It just opens up a whole a whole avenue, and then of course, as soon as I get my S2, oh, you know I'm going to go for S3. But I don't know if I'll do all S3 positions all the time because obviously I don't want to have... I would mix it up a bit and maybe even though I'm an S3, just do tower or go back down to ground depending on how busy it is because I don't want to do a stream where I'm just losing my mind because I'm doing approach and tower and ground and just losing it because I've got, you know, bad pilots or, you know, just things going wrong. It's just at the minute, like I said, us, all of us at ABS TV were just bottlenecked at the minute simply because of the whole, you know, only Dan Impulse is the only guy that's above S1 and he's an S3. But no, all you guys, your support has been great, great, great. It's been great to start this little community off. Bear in mind, we've only just passed our one year anniversary. But no, I'm very, very glad you've all been enjoying it so far. I hope you just like it. I like doing my little chilled morning streams where I just come on, I've crack open a bevy, we just sit, we have a goofball, we, we joke about. It's been just great fun, absolutely great fun. And like I said, if you guys, particularly you talk guys that have been long-term watchers, if you've got anything you want to see or want to do, please feel free to ping it in the inbox on the Discord because... 
will be happy to do it. No, tick out. That, mate, you're, mate, you're always happy to fly in. I'm just saying, literally, um, I'm just going to be very cognizant. I don't want to do bad streams because I've seen many a streamer do it where they'll jump on a position. Not so much Dan. Dan's, you know, because Dan's just amazing at controlling. But, like, I've seen other people do streams where they'll jump on as, like, a massive area like Bandbox London or something, and then take over. And then they just rage, spend the whole time on the fucking stream losing their rag because they're like, rah, 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 and it's just like, whoa, why did you bite off more than you can chew? You know London's going to be rammed at that time of day. You know you've got no one under you. Why do it? You're just going to cause yourself a headache. So if I do become an S3 and I see Gatwick's rammed, DD3, four, I'm not going to take direct. Thank you for the ATC. Have a good day. Bye-bye. You're very welcome. Hope to see you again. Take care. I don't get the streamers that do long flights. See, I would. I that's see again. That's another thing. I would like to get into and do a long haul on stream at some point. That is in the plan to do. But yeah, I definitely break it up. I would do the departure, but then I'd I would do the departure, then like sign off and go right, guys. Departure's done. We're in the cruise. Everyone's happy. We've disconnected off the network. You know, and I'll see you in the morning because that's how I'll prep it. I'll prep it so I do the takeoff at night, UK time, go to sleep and wake up the next morning and then do the landing. Uh, I've got another inbound. We've got a shamrock coming in from Dublin. But yeah, like I said, I just I've seen so many controller towers do it where they're like, well, I am a C1, so I'm just gonna only do C1 stuff. Although I've got to admit, uh, lots of London controllers now have been a lot bit better recently and not been taking up band box the band box positions and just getting themselves into trouble because Rightfully so, because it's like you're just causing yourself a headache. Yeah. Yeah. I have done a few ride along streams. Um, like I was just we were just mucking about and experimenting. We did do what a couple of what I called ride alongs where I did flights. But because I had lots of kids at home and this, that and the other, I would literally just, you'd hear me be able to talk on frequency and do everything as normal. But I just, I wouldn't be that chatty on the channel. Just bear in mind, like, I was like, oh, well, here you are. Just watch me, which I thought was good content for people to watch if for whatever reason they couldn't fly and they just wanted to follow along or something. But yeah, I mean, it did all right, but. I think it was certainly a better thing to do, say, like if we had a bunch of us flying out or whatever, and I'm just streaming so anybody else who couldn't fly as a group could just follow along. Do you see what I'm saying? But yeah, th that's one of the definitely big things about flying that I'm not a fan of is if you like if you do a long flight and you've got a big, massive, uh, what you call it? Uh, big massive cruise time. That 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 is always like the challenge. Oh, I didn't realise it. It's disconnected. Sorry, my bad. Here's the shamrock. But yeah, I did do a couple of them. What I just called ride-alongs because I'm pretty sure I've still got the command in it to let people know. Hang on, let me just see if this still works. Uh, ride along. Yeah, there you go. Still, it does still work. But I would chat in, like, the text chat and that. So I would be, like, talking to you, Luna, like this. I'd be like, hello, Luna. Like, you know, that kind of thing. Although I'm missing you, but you get the point. Do you know what I mean? Because I was... I kind of set it up for that, just got the fact that, like, you know, many of the aviators have got kids and that. So it was like, you know, sometimes it happens. You've got screamy kids in the background. But, you know, you can still do stuff. Do you know what I mean? I always said it would be, it was better to do the flight and stream than to just not stream at all. Do you see what I'm saying? 
but you know, it's 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 been a very rare instance. I think I only did it like a couple of times. And I just had like a little pop up on the um on what you can see on your screen where it just said ride along. Six hours. Oof. Yeah, that's a long one. But yeah, I don't mind doing long hauls at all. In fact, most of my long hauls, I've, I think my longest continuous flight I've done is transatlantic. I've done like a seven hour, eight hour flight. But I haven't actually sat on it. I've just literally like gone away and just sat and watched it do it. Yeah, I bet. Shamrock's coming to me. Tower's just sent me the strip. Ground, good morning. Shamrock 1245, just turning 120 at left. Shamrock 1245, Gatwick Grounds, good morning. Welcome to Gatwick. Continue taxi on 08 left and then. Uh, continue taxi Alpha November hold short of Papa expect stand number 3 continue zero right left uh, taxi Alpha November hold short Papa and expect stand 3 I'm, go to five. I'm just going to send him literally straight shot all the way down Alpha November I think that's the best way to do it I'm sure that's Alpha November all the way down I am just going to check the taxi chart because I'm a goddamn professional. Oh, that's looting. Wrong, wrong airport. Wrong charts. Where's Gatwick? Gatwick charts. Gatwick charts. Where are you? Gatwick charts. Yep. Yeah, like I said, I'd, I'd love to do some long hauls, but yeah, I just I don't know what to... I think the biggest thing any streamer has is what do you do? Like this is why I was always amazed by guys like Matt Davies and that that could all that could. I mean, although I understand what he did actually, because a lot of the stuff he did because he had his little project fly and what that. So he would do the departure and then all the way through it, he'd just work on the street. Do you know what I mean? What working and doing coding on stream. And he just had this innate ability to just chat to his community all the time. It, it, he, he did have a Gift for it, I'm not going to lie. Uh, why is this guy to Glasgow wrong? Uh, he's got to be above. Uh, okay, so he's wrong. He needs to be a high flight level. He's got to be at least... Although, actually, I bet it's not. I bet I could just do this, and then that'll work. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, this flight plan's good. Gatwick Ground, good morning. Uh, EasyJet 21 Echo Lima requests IFR clearance to Antalya with information Foxtrot on board on stand 54 Lima. Easy 21 Echo Lima, Gatwick Ground, good morning. You are clear to Antalya. Mimpfo 1 Mike departure, Squawk 5210. Uh, the squawk again, sorry. Squawk 5210. Uh, we're clear to Antalya via the MIMF 1 mic departure. And squawk 5210. Easy 21 Echo Lima. Easy 21 Echo Lima. Reback is correct. QNH 1001, report when ready. QNH 1001, uh, we report when we are ready. Easy two one Echo Lima. Shamrock one two four five. Continue taxi Alpha November all the way to stand number three. Alpha November all the way to number three. Thank you. Shamrock two four five. So yeah. But yeah, like I said, um, 
yeah, me and the all the all the guys on AVS TV, we've got so many ideas because there's so many things we want to do on the channel as well. Because it's not just we want to just do streams of me just sat here going hi guys. You know we we'd love to create a community where you guys are joining in. Like I'd love to maybe do a stream once or something where we're just on here, or maybe a couple of you guys who aren't actually on the channel or members of it, but maybe you're on ground or delivery. We're just chatting. Do you know what I mean? We'd love to do stuff like that. It's not just about us. We, you know, we just want to make it. I don't know. It's. I sound really thingy when I say it. But do you know what I'm saying? We'd love to do stuff like that, and just or do group flights where we're just like, oh, we're all on the Discord together, and we're all just like having a laugh and a joke. Stuff like that is what we really want to do. Oh, bless you, Adam. Like I said, I know I do a lot of daytime stuff at the moment. The reason why I do a lot of daytime stuff is obviously at the moment I've got an empty house. Obviously, I've taken the kids to school, da 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 da, tidied up the house. So this is, and my wife's at work. So this is the main time I've got available. But hopefully, I should free myself up to do an evening every now and then. So when maybe you're not at work, I'll be doing a stream and something, and then you can join in. Right. Shamrock's on stand. Can get rid of him. But yeah, uh, for who who was it earlier that said about I need uh, should do Edinburgh? I don't personally do Edinburgh, but I'm not the only guy on the channel, so there is six of us. So I know Dino does Edinburgh, uh, Fate Weaver does Edinburgh, I think Harry does Edinburgh as well. So there is several of us that actually do like stream from Edinburgh. It's just personally not me. I like to. I don't know, I've always just been more specialised in just covering London. To be honest, I literally, and this is actually a true story as well, I had absolutely no interest in learning Gatwick until I thought about starting up Aviators. And then I was like, OK, I'll, for, for the content and for the variety, I'll learn Gatwick. True story. Or join in whenever I can't. I have to oh, that's cool, Adam. No, I'm glad you are. We've got an inbound. Yeah, we have Tom Jet. Tom Jet coming in from IB. Oh, God, what I wouldn't give to be an IB for right now. Ooh, that was a bit of a heavy flare. Down? Yeah. Is he just being off the runway? Yeah, he's off the runway. Ooh! He's off the runway. Get it back. He's back on. Oh, dear. He just mowed the grass. Oh dear. That's not stand five zero. Oh, there's my phone.
Good morning, Gatwick Ground. Uh, shuttle 14 Alpha, Alpha um, Airbus 320 at stand 22, information Foxtrot on board, requesting uh, IFR clearance into Glasgow. Shuttle 14 Alpha, Gatwick Ground, good morning. Clear to Glasgow, Lambourne 6 Mike departure, Squawk 5211. Shuttle uh, 14 Alpha is cleared to Glasgow, Lambourne 6, Mike Departure, Squawk 5211. Shuttle 14 Alpha, read back is correct. Q&H is 1001, report when ready. Q&H 1001, and we'll call when they're ready for push. Uh, Graham, Tom Jet 7, Bravo, Delta, uh, just on the 08 bus. Tom Jet 7 Bravo Delta, Gatwick Ground, good morning, welcome to Gatwick. Continue taxi 08 left and then Romeo Lima stand 50. Continue 08 left then Romeo Lima stand 50, uh, Tom Jet 7 Bravo Delta. So, yeah. So does that all sound good to you lot about doing stuff like that? Would you would you participate in some shenanigans on the channel? Because like I said, that's really what I want to do. It's just stuff like that. Because I think actually that was one of my favourite flight streams ever. Actually, was when it was me, Focus, and oh, I've forgotten the second person now. Oh God, I'm gonna regret forgetting it now. I know it was Focus. Oh, I can't remember who the second. Who was the other person? And we did. We I got them in the Discord call. And we all flew out together. That was really good fun. Actually, I enjoyed that more than that was my favourite stream ever. For flying ones, anyway. Yeah, the weather. Oh, weather's got worse. Gusting 24. Oof. Definitely IFR conditions now. Get the ground, get on side at four. Air France 584, get with ground. Good morning, pass your message. Good morning, Air France 504, get with ground. Requesting our clearance to parish to go with information Fox on stand 2 in an 8020. Uh, it's not going to happen. Uh, where is it? You say 380 or 320. Air France 584, Roger, stand by, I'll call you back. To go via so I do. Yeah, we'll do the Hardy Hardy One X Ray. Right, just got to sort this guy out. There it is. Air France five eight four. Get with ground. Air France five eight four. Ready to copy. F1's 584, the uh, Seaford departure is not valid during the daytime, it's only valid at night. Can you accept the Hardy 1 X-ray departure? Yes, I can, Hardy 1 X-ray departure, F1's 584. 
Air France 584, Roger, thank you. I've amended your flight plan for you. Are you ready to copy clearance? Ready copy clearance, Air France 584. Air France 584, clear to Paris, Charles de Gaulle, Hardy 1 X ray departure, Squawk 3417. Air France 584, clear to Charles de Gaulle via Hardy 1 X ray departure, Squawk 3417. Air France 584, readback is correct. Information Foxtrot, current QH 1001, report when ready. Information Foxtrot, current, thank you, Air France 584. Tower. Oh, Shuttle 14 Alpha ready for push and start. Shuttle 14 Alpha, stand to two, push and start approved, face east. Push and start approved, face east. Shuttle 14 Alpha. Yeah, tower's closing. Uh, Aviation 91, hello, mate. First time in the chat. Hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. Going to be with you shortly, arriving from Schiphol. Nice. Oh, my tower's gone. No! Gatwick. Yep. Seven Bravo Deltas just taxiing almost a stand. He's getting there. He's just going under the jet bridge now. EV21 Echo Lima ready for push and start. Easy 21 Echo Lima after the Thomas Cook Boeing 737 passes from your left to right on Lima. Stand 54 left, push and start is approved, face east. After the Boeing passing from Left to right, uh, push and start is approved, facing east. Easy 21 Echo Lima. Easy 21 Echo Lima, just be advised uh, that Thomas Cook's just disconnected. They might reappear, so just give them a minute before push. Okay, we are watch out. Thanks. Easy 21 Echo Lima. That's a show. So, yeah. Aviation 81's inbound from uh, Schiphol. Has Schiphol still been mad busy then, I assume it has. Air France 5 ready to push. Air France 584, stand number two. Push and start is approved, face south. Facing south from stand two, Air France 584. Okay, has it calmed down a bit? Because I know it was, it was a bit mad. If anyone sees uh, our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash at aviators underscore TV. Yeah, I did a little jokey flight where I flew to Amsterdam, but not to the, because I don't fly on Muzfas. I didn't do it on, um, with the new scenery. I just flew there just to see how mad busy it was. It was pretty busy. I got cut off twice on landing, which wasn't fun. because people weren't following the procedures correctly.
Shuttle 1 for Alpha, ready for taxi. Shuttle 1 for Alpha, taxi holding point Mike 1, runway 26 left via Mike. Mike 1 via Mike uh, for 26 left, Shuttle 1 Alpha. For Alpha, then mind. So, have any of you lot got any plans for the weekend? What are you up to? Let me live vicariously through you. Shuttle 14 Alpha, no further ATC available. Free call Unicorn 122 decimal 8. Be advised, traffic on a five mile final. Have a safe flight. Bye bye. Roger, Shuttle 1 uh, Alpha will hold short at uh, Mike 1 uh, for arriving traffic and go over to Unicorn. Thanks for the service, sir. You're welcome. Have a good one. Good to miss trip. Got an early start tomorrow, so we'll be flying from 5 a.m. to about midday. Okay, cool. Right, who's your rival? Easy 1 8 to Victor Zulu coming in from Milan. Mm, visibility's dropping as well. Visibility's down to 7,000 meters. From five eighteen, I request taxi. Air France five eight four, taxi holding point Mike one, runway two six left via Victor and Mike. Air France five eight four, taxi holding point Mike one, runway two six left via Victor and Mike. Oh, he's got around. We got to go around. Yeah, he's got around. Right, oh.
Air France 584, no further ATC available. Free call Unicorn 122, decimal 8. Have a safe flight, bye-bye. Thank you, on Unicorn 122, decimal 8. Bye-bye, Air France 584. Air strip. Shuttle 14 Alpha depart. Oh, I see a flight coming in from Schiphol. I wonder if that's aviation. I'm sure it is. EV21, Echo Lima, ready for taxi. EV21, Echo Lima, taxi holding point Alpha 3, runway 26 left via Papa and Alpha Sierra. Correction, Alpha November. Taxi to holding point Alpha 3, runway. 26 left via Papa and Alpha Sierra. Easy 2 1 Echo Lima. Why are they missing? 2 1 Echo Lima, apologies. It's Papa and Alpha November to two, uh, Alpha 3. I hate it when they disappear like that. Uh, okay, Papa, November, and Alpha 3. Easy 2 1 Echo Lima. Uh, uh, where are they? What's next? No, it's not that one. Hang on, I'm missing some settings there. Hang on. Um, display? It might be display. I'm missing some of the taxiway markings, which is a little annoying. Uh, here they are. Free text. UKK taxiways, thank you. There they are. And then if you go into symbology settings, and then you go other, and then free text, you can change the color. It like stands out pink. It should be sort of like a green. Green's the easiest colour to know, isn't it? Yeah, it's not bad. Air France, he's on his way out of it. Who's this? I have not. Some guys just PM me saying, hello, can I request this stand, please? It's like, okay. Can't even see him. He's not even on my departure list at the minute. Okay, Grant, good morning. Easy 26 Alpha Romeo. Tapway 320, stand uh, 106. Information Golf 1001 is clear instead. Bill Bound, please. Uh, that's fine. Easy 26 Alpha Romeo, Gatwick Ground. Good morning. Clear to Bill Bow. Novma 1 X ray departure, Squawk 1412. Good to Bill Bow, Novma 1 X ray 1412. Easy 26 Alpha Romeo. Easy 26 Alpha Romeo, reback correct. QH 1001, report when ready. Oh, we've had no bad ones at the minute. Uh, where's Easy 21 Echo Lima going? Where's he going? I love this spaghetti junction here at Gatwick. So many pilots get confused. 
Come on, turn left. Turn left. Turn left now. No, he's going to go out for two, any. He? Oh, he's realised what he's done. Come on. Alpha November's right there. You're literally on it. You just got to do turn left. He's not going nowhere. He's going. He's like, I'm lost now. Go on. No. He's going to take out for Sierra. Or even worse, he's going to go Bravo one. See, here we go. Classic mistake. So he's got lost. He's not sure where he's going. So he's just going, well, I'll go Bravo one then. Yeah, there he goes. He's just going to stop at Bravo one. <sighs> Easy 2 1 Echo Lima. No further ATC available. Hold position at Bravo one for departure and be advised traffic on a one mile final. Have a safe flight. Bye bye. No further ATC available, Unicom and traffic inside. Easy 2 1 Echo Lima. Is that Pacini? Pacini TV? Thank you very much for the follow. Welcome aboard to Maybet TV. Hope you're doing well. Oh, we just missed the landing. Whoopsie. But yeah, that's a classic pilot mess up. I see a lot of pilots do. If you if you've gotten lost and you don't know where you're going, just stop and call me. Don't just go. Oh, I'm just going to go here. Easy two six Alpha Romeo, stand one zero six. Would you ready to push on top, please? Easy two six Alpha Romeo, stand one zero six. Push and start approved. Face east. Push start approved. Face into east. Easy two six Alpha Romeo. But yeah, that's just the classic pilot thingy I see, particularly here at Gatwick, because it is very confusing here, I'm not going to lie, because you've got, you know, this whole looks like rat's nest of taxiways that all kind of interlock with each other, and I completely get it, but because there's no markings really around here either between Alpha November and Alpha Sierra, but yeah. Pacini. Pacini! You are spitting facts right now. Thank you. I do try. Right. So, 2 1 Echo Lima. I mean, going at Bravo 1 is not a massive screw up for him, particularly because he's an A320 Neo, so he's got more than enough power to get. Take Lima Grandy. I look at you, I'm going to show you the Grandy Grandy. Easy 5 Echo Charlie, Gatwick Ground. Good morning. Welcome to Gatwick. Taxi right onto runway 08 left, hold short Romeo, expect stand 48 left. Taxi right on 08 left, stand 48 left, stand 48 left. Why is it not letting me have your strip? Yeah. Yeah, I did, Paul. I control it nearly. It happens to me as so often, yeah. Good morning, Safe Pilot. I hope you're doing well. There goes 2 1 Echo Lima. Yeah, it's just, it, it, it does confuddle me so much how, like, if you don't know where you're going, just stop your aircraft and just say, Hi, I'm stuck. I don't quite know where I am. Can you help? It, it's not hard. Right. Um, they're they're preset in. You have to go into other settings, display settings. When mine loads up, uh, other settings, display settings, free text in the little uh, list box at the bottom of the options, and then you scroll down to EGKK taxiways. Make sure that is checked, apply it and OK it. And then in symbology settings, you go other settings, symbology settings, free text, and then make them green. Yes. 
Hey, Mr. Jamie Lai. Harsh oh, message. Hello, mate. Uh, two six left. Golf current. Eight is with me. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Easy two six Alpha Romeo. Question taxi, and we are requesting Bravo one. Easy 26 Alpha Romeo, Roger. Taxi holding point Bravo 1, runway 26 left via Papa and Bravo. Papa Bravo for Bravo 1, easy 26 Alpha Romeo, thanks. Air uh, GMC. If able, can you give me the strip for easy 5 Echo Charlie? It's not letting me grab it for some reason, I'm assuming because you came on. Lovely, thank you. There he is, now I've got him. And he, Easy 5 Echo Charlie's just about following instruction. Easy 5 Echo Charlie, continue taxi Romeo and Lima, stand 48 left. Romeo Lima, 48 left, Alright, so pilot. I know, Paul, I do try, mate. <laughs> right, uh, easy 26 Alpha Romeo. Let's watch him taxi out. He wanted Bravo 1, so that's fine. We can send him to Bravo 1. Fine with me. Like I said, they, if they want to, they can request Bravo 1, but they have to request it. By default, I have to send them to Alpha 2 or Alpha 3 or Mike 1, depending on where they are. For 26 left. But yeah, if they request it, I can give them Bravo 1. Yeah, that's true. That's very true. So many times you see like an A380 and you're like, this guy's not going to have a clue. Although it's cool, for those of you that missed uh, Impulse's last stream out of... Where did he fly? Oh, he did Manchester Radar. One of the developers of the Fly-By-Wire A380 showed up and was doing like takeoffs and like go-arounds on with the A380, which was cool to see. Easy 26 Alpha Romeo, contact Gatwick Tower 124 decimal 230. Have a safe flight, bye bye. 124230, easy 26 Alpha Romeo, thank you. Send in the strip. One up, one down, keep moving. Uh oh, got a sneeze coming. Oh, call it. Oh. One finger, one phone, one up, the mum, keep moving. There goes 26 Alpha Romeo. And out of here. No. Oh. That easy jet. Taxiing in to 48 left is just disconnected. We've also got one inbound. Easy 18 Victor Zulu from Milan. I cannot wait for that fly by fly every 
feel off a month off sick off work. Really, so far. A whole month, eh? I hope you're going to get a doctor's note for that one. Right, let's watch one a big Sulu coming in for landing. Oh. What was that? What's that for? Tower? Or oh, they need ground as well. Here we go, is he 1 8 with a double? Oh, we see a fox for from there. Easy, 1-8, Victor Zulu, Gatwick round. Good morning, welcome to Gatwick. Taxi, second right, Juliet, hold short, Romeo. Expect stand 5-6-0. So 5-6-0, I mean, the taxi with Zulu. Juliet, hold short, Romeo. Is he 1-8 with a double? Uh-oh, I've just been told there's a mentoring session going on, or going to be going on at Gatwick. It might be a tower one, so I might be getting booted off here. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I have to wait and see what happens. Can you go Birmingham? Uh, I've never, ever, ever done Birmingham before. Uh, 
I will say, yeah, mm, no, I'll see. I'll see what happens first. I'll panic when I've got a mentor telling me to get off. I mean, it's already 12 o'clock. I've already done how many hours? I've already done nearly two hours on stream, so if worse comes to worse, I'll just wrap it up. <laughs> Not complete bust. Bristol was shocking the other morning. Terrible weather. First departure from there. Oh, was it? God, I haven't flown out of Bristol in ages. It's such a weird little airport. Oh, here's the guy that's requested the stand number. He was in the one thirties. Yeah, that's fine. We'll give him one three one. Change the stand allocation. There we go. How long did it take you to become a Vatsim controller? Well, minus all the waiting, about two months. I did it in about I did it in about five training sessions. Because obviously you've got to do your theory first and do all the theory and then do the test, and then you've actually got to do practical mentoring sessions. I did my S1 in about five, I think. Uh let me have a look. Because I can look it all up on the uh, training system that uh that's in UK uses. Uh let me have a look. Uh so not that one history session history so yeah one two three four i did it in five i start my first session was on the 4th of june and my last session of practice was on the 3rd of august so i did it in two months and then my practical exam was on the 10th of august so literally so it took me two months over five sessions. I did the 4th of June, the 19th of June, the 21th of July, the 29th of July, the 3rd of August was my last one. And then I graduated. And then I did one, two, three. It took me four sessions to get my Gatwick Ground endorsement. But obviously that doesn't include, um, what you call it, um, that doesn't include waiting, obviously. Aviation 91, way there he is with a follow. Thank you, and um, thank you for coming, coming, coming. Thank you for coming. I'm just going to leave it at that. <laughs> uh, thank you for coming. Easy 1-8, Victor Zulu, continue taxi, Romeo, Lima, Quebec, Alpha, stand 560. Taxi Romeo Kilo uh, Lima to pick up phone. Sorry, can we take five six one instead? Because I don't have that key here. A firm, you can take five six one. Save taxi. Thanks, thanks. Five. Let's just change them to five six. Yep. Morning, Surly. Making the most of my day off. I only just got up. Mind you, I didn't go to bed until after 4am. Jesus, Surly. What is it with you lot? I'm doing morning streams, but for many of you, it's like your nighttime stream. Am I soothing you all off to sleep, am I?
information hotels now current Going around, good afternoon, Pike F31. Stand 5, aircraft type, Airbus 3320, requesting clearance to Innsbruck with information golf. Pike Air 31, Gatwick Ground, good morning. Cleared Innsbruck, Mimfo 1, Mike departure, Squawk 6353. Cleared Innsbruck, Mimfo 1, Mike departure, Squawk 6353, Pike Air 31. Pike Air 31, read back correct, QNH 1001, report when ready. Uh, who's that that's just joined the Discord? Someone has. I've just got the ping. Oh, I don't recognise the name. It might be one of you lot in the chat. If it is, hello. I've just given you a big fat wave anyway. Right. In comes this EFU, whoever this is. Uh, who is this EFU? Call sign Green Sky. Oh, got another thing on <laughs> Thank you to Straight Aviator. Oh. Right, one eight Victor Zulu's on stance, so we can give it a bit. Oh, Who's that ping in? Ground hello, Green Sky 9321. Green Sky 9321, Gatwick Ground. Good morning, welcome to Gatwick. Continue taxi runway 08 left. Then Romeo and Kilo, stand 131. 08 left, Romeo Kilo, stand 131. Thanks, Queen Sky 9321. Right. Done. Well, I've not been booted off yet, so we're, we're doing good, guys. We're doing good. Haven't been thrown off yet. <gasps> Summer's on. Someone's gone on Stansted. How dare you get off my standing? It's mine. Can't have it. Someone's on at Newcastle. Jesus. Who's on at Newcastle? Interesting. Someone obviously just wants not no traffic whatsoever. Birmingham. It's good to see Birmingham getting some love. Birmingham's a very unloved airport. It's one of those airports, it can certainly get a lot more traffic. Uh, 
some Superman of Bravo, it's just about to land. It's my home airport. I am loyal to it if someone's online. Nice. Oh, yeah. And so, Pilot, thanks for the screenshot. Yeah, I, I've seen it. And welcome to the Discord server as well, so Pilot, mate. down he's gonna vacate Foxtrot Romeo do, 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 do. I bet but they were like, fucking get out of our way! Right, he's giving me the strip. Hopefully 7-6 is going to go second. Hello, 7-6, Lima Bravo is signing on to Juliet. Lovely. Easy, 7-6 Lima Bravo, Gatwick Ground. Very good morning. Welcome to Gatwick. Continue taxi, Juliet, Romeo and Kilo, stand 105. Juliet Romeo Kilo 105, easy 760 Romeo. Bravo, but there we are. There we go. Now I've given him straight taxi instructions all the way in. He's nice and simple. He can just carry on rolling, doesn't even need to stop. Green Sky is going in in 131. It's just about to arrive on standing now, because I can have a look. There he is. Nice and easy. Go. He's on stands, so green sky strip can go. That's Lima Bravo, I guess, to watch him tap in. Visibility's improved, the rain stopped as well. Weather's now 3 0 at 12. The gusting's gone, thank God. Uh, visibility 99 and 99. Broken at 800 feet, and that's it. So the weather has improved at Gatwick nicely enough. Haven't been booted off yet by a mentor, so we're not doing too bad. Although I'm pretty sure he said 11.15. So I'll have to see what happens at 11.15. Right, I have got a guy going... Oh, because he's uh, frame one... No, it's frame one might to Detling. No, that's not right. Why is it on direct Clapton? Hang on, what's going on here? That's not right. Ah. Where's my thing gone? Speed level change in it, apparently. Uh, Speedbird 9 of 3, a radio check. Speedbird 9 of 3, Gatwick Ground, good morning, readability 5. I just need to check something. Uh, destination. Open SRD. There it is. Easy 145 is the A320 on stand 50 with information hotel request permits to roads. 
Let's watch this guy go in the road. Easy, 145, Gatwick Grounds, good morning. Cleared roads, Mympho 1, Mike departure, Squawk 1431. Cleared by the Mympho 1, Mike departure, Squawk 1431, easy 145. Easy 145, read back correct. QNH 1001, report when ready. 1001, report when ready. Easy 145. It's got a slight. That'll be odd. Uh, Speedbird 9 of 3, uh, requesting IFR clearance to Amsterdam, QNH 1001 with uh, information hotel on board. Uh, I'm at Boeing 777-300 at gate 31. Speedbird 9 of 3, I do have a minor reroute for you. Uh, it is quite a short one. Can you accept it over voice? Uh, can you drop it over text if possible? Might be easier for uh, Speedbird 9 of 3. Speedbird 9 of 3, Roger, I'll give it to you now. Thank you very much. Cool, got that to him. Right. Uh... Uh, Speedbird 93 ground. Uh, yes, I can accept that. Um, thanks. Speed about 93, Roger. Uh, call back for clearance. Done. I mended his flight plan. He's good. Speed about 93 requesting IFR clearance. As well. Speedbird 903, cleared to Amsterdam, Frain 1 Mike departure, then amended route, Squawk 5017. Uh, frame one mic departure and then the amended route uh, squawking 5017, speedbird 903. Speedbird 903, read back is correct. QNH 1001, report when ready for push and start. Report ready for push and start, QNH 1001, speedbird 903, thanks. Uh oh. Mike, if we want to stand five, ready for push and start. Pike Air 3 1, check squawk 6353. Captain Sim triple seven three hundred. Good luck, mate. Had a shock in that plane, never flew it since. Oh, great. Oh, joy. Right. I'm so sorry about that. Pike Air 3 1, squawking 6353, ready for pushing start. Pike Air 3 1, stand number 5, push and start is approved, face west. Push and start approved, facing west, Pike Air 3 1. Well, I've got a few incorrect flight plans here. I need to just highlight them and say what the problem is. He needs to be on an odd, fixed. Uh, what's going on with this guy? He's on a bogner to thing it, and oh, I've got a step climbing. Get rid of that. I don't need don't need to step climb immediately after departure. I don't know why things keep doing that. Also, for some reason, fried beef, he doesn't know what his, his exit point is when it's sit at. That's weird. Should know that. Should know it's sit at. Hmm. Gabbit grown Tom Jet one five kilo radio check. Tom Jet 15 Kilo Scout with Ground. Good morning. Readability 5. What is that? Tom Jet 15 Kilo with information hotel on board. Type 787800. Request an IFR clearance to Ibiza as filed, please. Tom Jet 15 Kilo cleared Ibiza. Bogner 1 X ray departure. Squawk 5016. Clear Ibiza, Bogner 1 X-ray departure, Squawk 5016, Tomjet 15 Kilo. Tomjet 15 Kilo, read back is correct, QNH 1001, report when ready. We'll call Tomjet 15 Kilo.
Chase Jamie. Is that you're going to bump me off? Okay. That's right, it's fine. Okay, uh, ground. Uh, Pycare free one is pushed, but not taxied. And everything is per the strips. Get the ground, Tom Jet 15 Kilo, ready for pushing start. Oh, station, standby. Uh, AFM, yeah, everyone's squawking is cleared and information hotels current, 2 6 left, and yeah, that's all of it. Uh, ATIS is now dropping and hotel was current. Yeah, just uh, for the mentor, he's landing on 2-6 right, so he's making a complete hash of it. And he also keeps, like, stuttering in midair, so I'm not quite sure what he's doing. Yeah, no worries. Uh, anyone on my frequency, I'm going to send to you, Tower, okay? All stations, all stations, Gatwick Ground is now closing uh, for a mentoring session. All stations, contact Gatwick Tower. Call sign only, 124.230. Bye-bye. Sorry, guys. I'm going to have to jump off. No, it's no problem. I've sent them to you. Call sign only. You're welcome. Right, I need to get off. And I'm off. Sorry, guys. I've had to uh, jump on off. Uh, mentoring sessions come on. Although they were supposed to be on way earlier than this, but they fingered. So, right, let's just get off these trips as well. Oh, that's fine. I've been. I've, I've done two hours. I think I might just wrap it up. I've done a nice little sesh. Wasn't a complete mess. Yeah, sorry. I wasn't expecting the mentoring session. It said they were on. But then, obviously, I don't know why, but for some reason, whenever they do tower, towering mentoring sessions, they boot ground off as well. I don't quite know why they do, but they do. They insist that the tower must do both ground and tower at the same time. I'm not quite sure why. Uh, what was that? Elon's long shaft. Okay. Can ATC see a plane's radio frequency? Uh no, they can't see who they're tuned into. Is Tower live on Twitch? No. Thank you guys, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, I think what I'll do is I'll probably just wrap it up. Um, I don't see there's much point in me jumping over to another frequency. I have done a couple of hours, so I've been on this morning. So, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna jump on off. I've done, I've done a couple of hours. I will be back on the Monday. Uh, unfortunately, I am working this weekend again. Boo, hiss. Um, so there's like no radar showing of planes. Oh, no, we can see that. We, I can see their call sign. Because obviously you can see, like, if I had this active right now, it will show me their call sign and what they're squawking, but I can't see what frequency they're tuned into. So if they're tuned into the wrong frequency, I just can't see, I can't, I can't see what they're tuned into. So like that issue with that Ryanair, he was causing an issue because A, he's landed on the wrong wrong way because he's landed on 26 right and he never spoke, never called tower. Jump on Alicante, yeah. That would be one of the bit. So yeah, that's how that works. So, yeah, I've done a couple of hours. It'd be a short one, but sorry, guys. I wasn't really expecting a mentoring session to kind of cut me off. I did see there was one on, but again, it was one of those situations where it's like, I didn't, I don't know 
because sometimes mentoring sessions boot you off if you're ground, and sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. So I just thought, fuck it, I'll risk it. Hey, Elon Zonshar, thank you for the follow. Welcome on board. Yeah, so yeah, that's how it works. We can't see what frequency they're tuned into on the radio, but yeah, of course, we can see their call sign and their, what they're squawking, etc., etc. So if they're squawking the wrong... I mean, just for me, it's ground. It would just show me whether it's wrong or not. Because if it lights up green, they're squawking correctly. If they're red, they're not squawking correctly. So then I can adjust it accordingly. Um, yeah. In real life, you could, though, right? Um, in real life, you have what they call guard frequencies. So you could call them. But no, you can... You, I don't think even in real life, you can't see what frequency they've tuned their radio into. If they're just on the wrong frequency, they're on the wrong frequency. But in real life, they have what they call like guard frequencies or unicom frequencies where that, that every aircraft should be tuned into no matter what as a backup. So the tower could tune their own radio into the unicom and go, hi, I don't know, easy 291, are you on this frequency? And when they go, yeah, they're like, you're supposed to have called me. Oh, right, shit, sorry, you know, and fix it. Uh, Mace, one, one, two, three. Thank you very much for the follow. Welcome aboard to AVX TV. Hope you're doing well. I've heard them drop into Unicom and say contact. Yeah. Yeah, they can do. But obviously we don't have that kind of flexibility. I can tune into Unicom and listen in, but I can't broadcast on it. So, yeah, that's me done for today. I will be back on Monday. I'm not sure if any of the guys are doing anything over the weekend. If they are they will post it in the Discord. So be sure to join the Discord. Uh, I've just seen there's an ad break on as well. So I'll, I'll bing the Discord in now. Um, be sure to come and give us a join. Any updates or if any of the other guys are streaming and whatnot. I'll just wait for the ad break to end and then I'm going to wrap up the stream, which actually works out bang on because it's bang on half past one. So I've done two and a half hours. Yeah, six seconds, five seconds, four seconds. I'm going to snooze the ads. And you guys are back in the room, hopefully. Yeah. Uh, so if you're not on the Discord, be sure to give it the links above in the chat. Come and join the Discord, which you can see here. You can see us chatting there in the Discord. Come and say hi. Um, if any of the other aviators are streaming on the channel over the weekend, I'm sure they'll ping the channel and let you, let you all guys know. If not, have a fantastic weekend. Please as well, if you're new and just follow the channel today, youtube.com forward slash at aviators underscore TV. Be sure to give us a subscribe on there because we're trying to get the numbers up so we can hit 500 and unlock all the good stuff on YouTube so we can do much more for varied streams and team ups and i can be streaming on twitch while the other guys on youtube and all that kind of stuff so please give us a subscribe that will help a lot uh last night my amsterdam hopper video went live so that was where i just did gatwick to amsterdam amsterdam back to stansted so if you want to see some flying shenanigans be sure to give that a watch um yeah i think i've got nothing else really to plug um until then, I have a fantastic weekend and I will catch you all on Monday. Take it easy, everyone. Stay safe. Bye.